In this problem, we have to find the interval of convergence for this power series. That basically means we have to find the set of all the values of x for which this series converges. In other words, the values of x for which this is actually equal to a number. So most of the time in these problems, we just jump into it with the ratio test. However, in this case, uh, this is a geometric series because it has the form uh, a times r to the n. So you see your r here is the piece that is being raised to the nth power. And then in this example here, your a would be equal to 1. So r is equal to x over 4 in this geometric series. And we know from the geometric series test that this will converge when the absolute value of r is less than 1. So now all we do is replace r with x over 4. And we know that this is when it converges. And whenever you have uh, the absolute value of x over 4, you can write that as the absolute value of x over 4, because the absolute value of 4 is 4. We can then multiply by 4, so times 4 times 4. That gives us the absolute value of x is less than 4. So to drop the absolute value, we put a plus and a minus, so 4 and then negative 4. And that's it. That should be the interval of convergence. Uh, we can write our answers using interval notation by using parentheses like this. The nice thing about the geometric series test is that you know it'll diverge otherwise. So it converges under this condition, and it will diverge when the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1. So we know it's going to diverge under this condition. In particular, we know it diverges when the absolute value of r is equal to 1. And if you were to work this out, if you were to work out this equation, absolute value of r equal to 1, you would get the endpoints. And that's the reason that you don't have to check the endpoints in these problems. So most of the time in these problems, when you use the ratio test, you always should check the endpoints. But when you use the geometric series test, um, don't worry about it. Don't bother checking the endpoints. In fact, I'll show you. I'll show you how this gives you the endpoints. So if you replace r with x over 4, you get this. And then we do the same thing. So absolute value of x over 4, and that's equal to 1. Multiply by 4, absolute value of x is equal to 4. Drop the absolute value, you get a plus or minus, boom, the endpoints. And we know it diverges. It diverges at the endpoints. So again, whenever you're looking for the interval of convergence, if you use the ratio test, you should check the endpoints. But if you do it this way, when it's geometric, you don't have to check the endpoint. So uh, this is like kind of like the easiest problem in a sense, because you don't have to go through the process of checking the endpoints. That's it.